Hey guys, welcome back to a new and special episode of Chow Time with JP. While searching for something to eat down here in the Steel City, one food that got listed numerous times are pierogies. It's reported that Pittsburgh is home to some of the best pierogies around, and there's one business that was actually named on several different websites, and it's called the S&D Polish Deli. Now, with me being half Polish, this place is going to be right up my alley, and on their website, the menu has a few different listings of different types of pierogies made a few different ways and they all sound really good have great reviews now it's located in the strip district which means we need to hop on a bus to get there and we're going to get there try a few different kinds and see if they are indeed the best pierogies in pittsburgh so if you're hungry and want to have some good pierogies well come along with me come on let's go here at our bus stop, we're looking for 86, 87, or 91, which will take us down to the Strip District. Come on, buses. We need a bus. There is nothing to be seen. Let's take me to the strip. Well, we arrived. We're here at Liberty and 17th. We need to head to Penn and find the S&D Polish Deli. So once we get there, I'll see if I can bring you guys inside and we'll order some pierogies. Came down one more block. We're right now at Penn Avenue 22nd. Right there is Grandpa Joe's candy store. And here is the S&D Polish Deli. Now they do have a lot more than just pierogies. They're supposed to have kielbasa, halushki, and other great Polish dishes. So we're gonna go inside and see what kind of pierogies they have to offer and get something to take outside to eat. It's like a little tiny Polish deli store. Get some things to take home. Both dry goods, fresh stuff. Churushki. But we are here for the pierogies. They have a little grab and go item here stuffed cabbage, halushki, kabasi, pierogies. So we're gonna. Boy, it all looks and smells so good. We're gonna get a couple of them here. Yeah, I did see the Bill recording something and CGI and then I will too and then. Okay, so I'm actually sitting right outside the SD Deli now, and I have a little feast here. I got two different types of pierogies and a piece of kabasi. So the regular one is just potato and cheddar with onions, the other one is potato with four cheeses. And the kibasi, so I'm excited to try these out. I'm gonna go a little unorthodox and start with the kibasi first. 
Oh, it smells so good. That is fantastic kibasi. Wow. I can eat a whole ring of that, no problem. Okay, so I don't know which progies which. Let's dive into it and see. A lot of butter, some onions, and packed full with cheese. Okay, so first one here is potato and cheese. This one is the four kinds of cheese. Wow. <laughs> These are by far some of the best progies I've ever had. Now I definitely will finish all this, but I will share some with you guys, so there you go. I don't know which one I like better. The cheese one has a different flavor because it has different flavors of cheese, obviously. The regular potato and cheddar tastes good. You know, you can tell it's homemade. It's not like these store-bought Mrs. T progies, which I still do like, but these are on a whole nother level. Yeah, I think the um, potato and cheese one is my favorite one. The four cheese is good, just this one Pull the head just slightly. But I think I'm actually more impressed with the kibasi. I mean, this tastes amazing. I even include a little dollop of mustard here, so give that a try. Oh, it's like a really sweet mustard. Strangely enough, it's probably some of the best mustard I've had. Yeah, there's more of it. Oh, that's a perfect combination. The kibasi with that mustard. I got to see if they have some inside to buy. That is. Like, phenomenal. I could eat, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner with just that. Nice, buttery one here. So good. Now, upon doing my research, there are other businesses in Pittsburgh that are reported to have the best pierogies, but this one was probably named the most. So, it's gonna all come down to your preference, your taste buds, as to what you think is the best. But, you know, without comparing to other locations, this place definitely holds true to having some fantastic tasting pierogies. So, just keep that in mind. They may not be the best ones, depending on who you talk to, but if you come to the strip district, definitely stop here, get some for yourself. They're right in the case, warm, hot, ready to go. And the staff, no surprise, they speak Polish, which is pretty neat. I actually know a little bit. I learned from my grandmother over the days. But they have everything from, um, you know, Polish chocolates to um, snacks to potato pancakes, which you can fry up at home. They have basically everything under the sun as far as Polish foods go. And all this I paid, you know, the three, the two orders of pierogies, the kibasi and the soda, under 20 bucks. So it's well worth the money, I feel. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode of Child Time with JP. I want to thank you for joining me for this very special episode here on location in Pittsburgh at the s &D Polish Deli. If you've ever tried them before, comment down below. Let us know what you think of them. And if you're ever in town, stop here, get some for yourself. 
you won't be disappointed. Even if you don't try that, definitely get the kibasi. It is phenomenal. So thanks so much for watching. I'm going to continue eating. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.